pretty physically dominant, I'd say, the first four minutes or so, and then it seemed like that tide turned a little bit. I agree with that. I, I thought the first four minutes, five minutes of the game, and then the next, uh, do the math, 43 minutes. That's right. I thought, was that good? Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was just them. I thought they were the more physical team tonight. Um, I thought they were into their game plan more tonight. Um, I thought they trusted each other more offensively tonight. So it was one. Of, it's a good lesson for us. Um, you know, at uh, I think going into the fourth, I looked up and I think it was a four point five point game, and it should have been. We should have been. I felt like we should have been down fifteen. You know, um, and then at halftime we we're up five, and I thought we should have been up fifteen. You know, it was just one of those games. But uh, give them credit. I thought they were the more physical team tonight by far. Um, guys not named Kawhi, PG, and uh, Trez combined for, I think, 25 points or seven guys. Were you a bit surprised to see how close you guys were at the end, considering the guys struggled to shoot? Yeah, we struggled shooting. Uh, but give them credit. I thought their defense was part of the reason. Um, I didn't think we had a lot of ball movement today offensively. Uh, I thought our offense let us down more than our defense. We, we made too many defensive mistakes uh, to recover, to win a close game. Uh, I mean, Avery played phenomenal uh, tonight. Um, we messed up coverages at least five times. I mean, he had, he had shots that he could roll and take a couple dribbles before he shot it. Um, I thought he was huge. I thought Rondo, that stretch, um, I don't know, beginning of the fourth, uh, when Kawhi was off the floor and also stretch in the middle of the second when, when uh, LeBron was off the floor. I thought uh, he was phenomenal for him. So uh, there are a lot of stretches in this game. You know, for the first three quarters of the game, Paul George is the best player on the court. Yeah. And in the fourth quarter, his only shot came, you know, with one minute left. What happened? Yeah, ball moving again. You know, you could always tell with the shooters. Um, but I just thought we, the ball stuck tonight for whatever reason. It doesn't happen very often with us, and it hasn't happened. Uh, but it did tonight. Um, you know, in some ways, it's probably good for us to see. You know, uh, you got to keep trusting everything you do offensively in each other. And I think we did that well tonight. Uh, they clearly, uh, to me, uh, their spacing was better uh, and they moved the ball better. And I think we did that. LeBron was hunting that matchup with Lou in the pick and roll so many times in the fourth. Yeah. What was your consideration to do we put Pat in here and keep Lou? Yeah, I didn't think Pat that was having a great game tonight, honestly. Uh, we were down, we needed points. You know, I thought he started it before Lou came on the floor, and then he stayed with it, you know, which they should have. Um, you know, we could have trapped it. We could do a lot of things. Uh, but what we were doing wasn't right, you know, and that puts the coach in a tough spot. Hey, Doc, you're familiar with Avery Bradley and what he brings to the court. Um, did any of that surprise you tonight, his toughness? Is it no, agitating? Avery makes shots. You know, he is. He's uh, But defensively, no. I thought that was maybe the biggest play of the game, the rip on Pat was a big momentum shift for them. I thought it gave them confidence, you know, and, uh, you know, that's what Avery can do. Um, Montrez Harrell played, I think, 19 straight minutes. Yeah. Half. Do you think he got tired? Towards yeah, he could have. I, I really think I could have went back with Zub. I, mean, I, I didn't think Zub was having a great game, but I thought Zub was really physical tonight. Um, Zub's been fantastic for us, you know. Uh, they went small. Uh, we didn't like the Zub AD matchup, uh, and so we, we kept Tress on. Doc, what do you see that they did with Kawhi to kind of keep him out from his normal mid-range spots and having AD on him? They switched a lot. Um, our spacing was poor. I thought our spacing and our pace, like it's the slowest, you know, we, we get, you know, analytically we'll get uh, numbers after the game, but that had to be our slowest pace game of the year. Like, it makes or misses. I don't know how many times, you know, I thought I was going to tear my rotator cuff just trying to get guys to just get up the floor, get up the floor. Uh, it was all, we were always one guy less in transition, and so I thought that was part of it. With no pace, you can keep anybody off their spots. Doc, I think coming into tonight, Marcus has shot like thirty percent from yeah. three since, and, and he obviously shot the ball so well. Yeah. The roles, what he was doing with the Knicks, is completely different. Like completely was, different. How, how big of an adjustment is it's that? It's a big adjustment. Uh, he'll get it. But it's going to take time. I, I talked to him, unfortunately, before the game. I told him, just be patient. It's going to happen. You know, it's tough when you go from a place where you're touching the ball probably every possession to, you know, every other, every five. And usually it's a ball swing for a shot, you know. Um, it's a road that he can do. Uh, I have 100% confidence in that. Uh, but it is. It, it takes some getting used to, and, and he will. Does that affect you think his defense a little bit too when you're missing? I don't think so, but no. it could. I mean, who knows? I'm not in his head. Um, 
you know, when you're not shooting the ball well, it can have an impact on you. Uh, uh, Sham uh, didn't play much tonight. Is there anything you can do more to, to get more playing time? Is it largely dependent on, on scoring? No, it depends on if I want to play Kawhi or PG more, which I'm probably going to choose them, you know. Uh, there's nights that Shem's going to be good for us. It's such a different role for him, too, uh, in a lot of ways, because when everybody was injured, I think Shem led our team in minutes played. Uh, and now we're healthy, right? And so now Shem's minutes have been cut drastically, and he's going through a little, uh, you know, he's got to get comfortable in his role again. He will again. This is why it's important now. We finally got a healthy team. Uh, guys can get kind of adjusted to their roles, and, and we can grow from there. And so, like I said before the game, we have a lot of growth, you know, and, and we're, we're going to keep doing that. Doc, they kept one of their stars on the floor at all times, yeah. uh, which uh, you guys decided not to match. Was that a decision just to keep them fresh with the fourth? Or yeah, we, we don't have to. Them? Like, our bench is good enough. Tonight it wasn't, you know, but most nights it is. Uh, on the nights that we feel it's not or, you know, uh, we could obviously do the same thing. But we trust our bench probably more, you know. Our bench has been pretty good this year. So it's not like when we do that, we lose points. We usually do pretty well. Doc, you said you thought LeBron's game was phenomenal. What specifically impressed you tonight that you saw that maybe you also haven't seen in the previous matchups? Well, against us, he got to the basket tonight. Uh, you know, that, if you let LeBron get to the basket, he's just too good. Uh, you know, it may not just his scoring, uh, but just the fact that he can pass the basketball. And so he got both tonight. He got to the basket and he was able to bring guys in and make plays. Uh, that for us was our, that was on us, but it happened too much. You know, um, that can't happen. Doc, did you learn anything about your team from tonight? I mean, obviously you had the six-game winning streak. Yeah. What did you learn from tonight? Well, you always learn stuff. I mean, I don't know, but I, you always learn stuff. Uh, I'll watch the tape. Uh, I probably won't share it with you, uh, but you always learn. You learn learning wins and losses. You'd rather learn in wins. is more enjoyable, uh, to be honest. But, uh, no, I saw a lot of things tonight. Doing the game, you know, uh, you know, ties my computer you know, and I load him all game, every game I do it. And uh, I, I felt like I was talking to Ty way too much tonight about things that we were not doing, things we should do. Um, so, you know, you lose when you do that. Uh, you mentioned the, the ball movement. You guys had more turnovers than assists tonight. How much, aside yeah. from the, the poor shooting, did that hurt the offense? Well, I just think, period, that no movement. And forget the turnovers. 13 turnovers, not a lot, right? Uh, but when you don't move the ball on top of that, uh, that's you can't win that game unless you just have an extraordinary night shooting, uh, which we're capable of. But in the long run, I know that's not how we want to play. We're not. We're never going to win that way. There's teams that play that way. Uh, we're not one of them. But we played that way tonight. Doc, there's the, another early game where you guys are a little stagnant, and, and yeah. what, <laughs> what can you do with that? Sort of. You know. I called my owner and I told him, you know what you should do? You should build an arena. <laughs> you know what he's doing? He's building an arena. Right. Having said that, I got a feeling this game would have been 1230 anyway because it was more for, for ABC. But that's such an excuse. Like, I won't use that for our guys. I joke around with it. I, I hate them, uh, honestly. And it, we, we do have way too many of them. Uh, but come on, not like tonight. Uh, the Lakers just played more physical. They were into it more. They executed more. I mean, they deserved the game tonight. They really did. We, um, the fact that we had chances was unbelievable to me. I just, I really thought that they had the better spirit tonight towards the game. And honestly, in the first two, I thought we had the better spirit. In it. So um, we'll see them again. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.